So what's Mother Google doing with its billions of dollars? Well, it's all about research. And in this case, we're talking about research on the moon. So what exactly is the Lunar X Prize? Well, the Lunar X Prize is a competition in which 16 teams will try to land a rover on the moon. The team whose rover covers the farthest distance on the surface of the moon will win. Of course, the rover also needs to record and transmit HD footage, at least 720p of their exploits on the rocky surface of the moon. But I hear you already asking, how big are the stakes? Well, the grand prize is a cool $20 million, with the runner-up taking $5 million. To put this into perspective, the previous contest that Google had was for only $1 million, and DeepMind won that. DeepMind is owned by Google, so Google got to keep their own money. Now let's talk about the rules. The rules of the contest only allow for 10% in government funding for research and development. This is probably to ensure that the competition remains as independent and balanced as it can be. Other rules include notifying Google of your attempted launch and landing dates. Your rover also needs to cover at least 500 meters on the moon and should carry 1% of its weight. The team also needs to send out at least 100 kilobytes of data and receive the transmission of HD footage recorded on the moon by the rover. All of this needs to be completed by the end of 2017. Now, competitors are coming from all over the world. We have United States, Canada, Chile, Malaysia, India, Brazil, Hungary, all over the place. And one of the teams that caught our eye was a German team that's partnered with the highly innovative automotive giant Audi to design what they're calling the Lunar Quattro. It looks like Audi is taking this competition seriously as it's planning to be the first luxury brand on the moon. Now, which company will be the first smartphone brand on the moon? Let's watch for that. Now, what's really exciting here is that the Lunar X competition could be one of the best stepping stones towards achieving the dream of lunar colonization. Perhaps when one day we use a Google app to navigate to the surface of the moon, will remember the Lunar X competition as one of the projects that pioneered this dream into a reality. Now, if you really wanna geek out, we gotta talk about machine learning and what it could do for the Lunar X competition. Machine learning will play a big role for lunar rovers, as well as similar robots that are sent to hostile environments here on Earth. On a related note, a recent study published in Nature shows how machines can recover from damage without any help from humans. This is the kind of thing Android robots are gonna to need to be able to do in the future if they are to survive in hostile environments where it's just too dangerous for human beings. Look at this one here. It is acting like a wounded animal. It's gonna be able to maneuver into places that humans just can't go. The possibilities are really exciting and endless. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Well, maybe you're now one of those people who don't wanna just watch videos about technology, but help actually make new technology. Well, our beloved sponsor, Full Sail University, offers degree programs to help you reach those goals. In their mobile development undergraduate degree program, you'll learn how to create and distribute apps. And if you're ready to advance your development skills, check out the Mobile Gaming Graduate Program. If you're ready to compete in this rapidly growing industry, visit fullsail.edu forward slash authority to learn more about these degree programs.